today's video, I'm going to be seeing how much VR I can gain in exactly one hour of playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And we are in a super stacked Japanese worldwide, so there really isn't a better room to be in. And I don't know if I'm seeing this right, but is literally everyone else Yoshi right now except for me? This is crazy. Normally you see at least like one player that's Peach Daisy Peachette. But this might be the first time I've ever seen an actual full Yoshi room. Of course, not really surprised given it is a full Japanese lobby. Like I said, it's pretty stacked. Lots of 20k and 30k players. There's even two 40k and a 50k player. How did that bomb not hit me? There's another bomb. This room's crazy already, but we are in second. And of course, the name of the game today, like I said, is just to maximize my VR gains and really see how much is possible. So I'm kind of conflicted. I think I want to go for it and, you know, go for the risky plays to try to maximize my VR because I could play it safe. But at the end of the day, that might not be necessarily the most I can get. I guess we're going to have to see how it goes. I feel like if I get a top spot, like top three or four, I'm in a good spot to gain a lot of VR anyways. That's a bomb. That took so long to blow up, but we slow down and well, we get the double reds. You know, I'm going to go for it. Like I said, we're going to make the risky plays. The blue is out. We're going to get redded. No, we're not. Wait, my red shell broke on the gold cart there, whatever that is even called. First is getting blue though. I think I might have helped them by giving them iframes for my red shell. I'm not really sure. But now they have a horn to start right on my tail. Hopefully we don't get hit here. Um, I think we want a horn here. And maybe chain at the set. I'm going to horn them. I think I broke their red for them. That's okay because we might have gotten hit. Okay, we get double reds again. But I think this time maybe the bats are going to break their red shells. Oh wait, no, it hit them. No, it didn't. It lagged. I have no idea what's happening. I feel like this is really common for these Japanese rooms. And we get more red shells. Perfect. But then there's the shock. But there's another blue shell. We hit them. They're going to get comboed by the blue. No, they're not. But we are in second. I'm just going to stay to the left here. I'll let all these players pass me. It's better than getting starred. There's three of them that just spawned in. I don't know how many of them dodged the shock. We're going to go for the single. Play it safe. We hit the horn. Going to watch out for a red shell behind us. There's a green shell. I'm just going to use it. I don't want to get green. There's a red shell. No, the red's going to hit me on the line. That is super unlucky. But I'll still get a fifth. So that should be some good VR gains. And we get a plus 12. Not a bad way to start. All right, race number two. I believe we're up plus 12 so far, which is not bad at all. A little bit unlucky there. There's a green shell behind me and actually in front of me. And then we end up getting hit by a red shell when I thought I was playing it safe by using my horn a little bit early. But what can you do? I'll still take a positive gain. Like I said, this room is very stacked. So even like a middle spot should yield some decent gains. Uh, and if I can get a top three spot, I'll be able to get a lot of gains in my experience from playing in a room like this. And wow, look at that. Someone switched to Daisy. Finally, the all Yoshi room, except for me, of course, is no more. I'm not sure if that player actually switched or if they just joined in. And wow, I was going for the double because I have not gotten a box so far this whole race. And we get bumped off just to get lag trailed. That's probably going to be our biggest enemy in today's video is just the lag we have to deal with in a full Japanese room like this one. It is brutal and it is just unpredictable really at its core and that's what makes it so difficult. Uh, but we're not in a bad spot. I typically do well on this track on Berlin. Let's save this room for this shortcut here and I'm actually going to spam this fire flower, get the double. I'm going to miss it because I was too worried about everything going on there. And there's the blue shell. We don't get hit surprisingly. I've had good luck so far. In today's video by not getting hit by the blue shell i feel like that happens way too much as well and we're gonna get bumped and shroom boosted i almost hit that car we missed the double again we get a single red good thing this next box is right here now let's just take it easy let's let these players pass me go ahead and throw the red we get bloopered what can we get okay we can just get rid of that right away gonna watch out for all these items around me and i think i will wait and then chain into this set here is there gonna be a shock there's a ton of power items in play right now and there is we get the shock dodge right on cue so that is awesome just like that we can start to gain some spots let's chain up the set that player in the boot also dodged they pulled the horn to dodge my red shell and we are in a good spot but i actually want to hold these shrooms for the ending shortcut i have a good feeling that i will not get a better pull to take the shortcut and on top of that the fact that i have the fire flower in the pocket which means if there's a red shell behind me, I can block it. But I'm going to fail anyways. And we're going to go right into that car. So I'm just going to play it safe here, I think. And then I will spam. Okay, there is a red shell, but it passes me. And I guess I hit someone while I was looking behind me. So we actually steal a spot. We get the fourth. Another decent race and a plus 16. Currently up a total of 28. 
We've actually had a couple players leave the room. Thankfully, a couple more joined. And I think the room average is actually higher than it was because the players that are left are all, you know, high 20s, 30, and 40k players. The really low rated 1500 player left. And in general, I think this is good for, you know, my gains. Of course, that's always one of the toughest things when I'm recording videos is just trying to find a good lobby and also stay in a good lobby because I definitely prefer to stay in the same room if I can. Especially with a challenge like this one where I only have an hour, I think the biggest time loss I could possibly have was if I had to find a new room because it just takes so long, you know, when you have to wait and spectate a room, but also there's a good chance where I won't find another stacked room right away like this one. Uh, I mentioned this a couple videos ago, but I actually find that recently it is a lot easier to find a high VR room. I'm not sure if Nintendo changed something. I know it wasn't, you know, explicitly mentioned anywhere. But it feels like generally when I play online, well, we have the shock. I'm going to use it right away. And I think I dodged a couple players. That's okay, though. We definitely need to catch up and hopefully be able to smuggle a good item into a top spot. Yeah, that is perfect. This should be good for us. There shouldn't be another shock as well since I pulled it. Uh, but like I was saying, I feel like it's just a lot easier to find a high VR room nowadays, which is awesome. It's only been like that for like a week or two. But hopefully, you know, it keeps up because that is a dream come true for me, a content creator, as it just makes it way easier for me to find a good room to compete in and makes the videos way more entertaining for you guys. Oh no, the boo took the double. There's a bomb that spawns out of nowhere and we are still in third. There's triple bananas. They get leg trailed. We somehow pass them. We pass another player. There's two bullet bills. Are we going to get past? We don't, and we get the second one. That was such a crazy finish in the plus 26. Let's go. All right, race number four, my track pick as I finished in a top spot, so it's nothing but good news that we're playing a running track like Neo Bowser City. We're currently up 54 VR. That's not good, though, the fact that I got a wrong way drift. But yeah, race number four, it's been about 13 minutes, too. We should be able to get at least another nine races or rather, what, what is my math right now? That is not right at all. 12 minutes is only, what, one-fifth of an hour? I was thinking it was one-fourth for some reason. But yes, we have three races. That means it's 12, 13 more maybe, depending on our track picks. And we'll see, you know, how it goes. I feel like that's also a big factor, not only being able to stay in the same lobby and get good gains by getting good spots, but also getting tracks that are shorter is going to come into play here because, you know, in theory, you know, if you played a track like Donut Plains 3 over and over, which is the shortest track in the game, you'd probably gain a lot more VR in a single hour than if you played Wii Rainbow Road, which is the longest track in the game, of course. In my experience, normally it kind of evens out. You know, you get a good mix of short and long tracks and medium length tracks as well. And there's definitely no real way to kind of like min max this type of thing if you will, as you know, there's so many other players in the room voting for whatever tracks they want to play. There's a little bit of a scuff shortcut. Uh, so we're just going to hope for the best here in general. I think what I want to do is pick the tracks that are most beneficial to me. Uh, like this track, given that I started in a top spot, it was definitely beneficial that I picked this track and it got picked. So that will further my chances of getting another top spot. And so far it's worked out. Yeah, we're in third place. It is lap three. And there's a red shell coming. We have protection. I think I want to hold this. Wait, that player fall off? I think they might have. Yeah, it looks like they did. I'm going to hold this. Wait, that was the player that was in first. And now we're in first all of a sudden. And they have a red shell, but we have protection. And just like that, we get the first. I guess first place just fell off the track. And I didn't even notice we get the first. It's really only gone uphill. And the plus 32 for first, that is amazing. And once again, we have an amazing track pick for my placement. And I'm going to burn out because I was doing my commentary. That is awful. We'll see what we can do, though. This is a really good front running track. Hopefully I don't fall too far behind. Uh, but we're currently up 86. Yeah, 86 VR in four races. That is actually an insane average. It almost makes me feel like I should just quit while I'm ahead. As realistically, I could go down from here and finish, you know, worse than I am right now. Uh, but I guess we'll see, you know, we're trying our best to maximize our VR gain. So far, the tracks have been really good in general for where I finished or just my play style. Now, uh, like I said, this one was good until I burned out of first. And I have no coins. This track's really hard to get coins on just because of the lines. Like if there's a player right ahead of you and they can very easily just take the coins that you want. Uh, but I think they'll spawn in for me here. They will, but I got scared of that blue shell, so I went super inside. 
Uh, but I think we're in a good spot. You know, we have five, six coins. Can get another couple here. We have triple protection in third place. First and second are battling it out up there. I can actually do the ramp strats this time, get my mini turbos. But that is the most unlucky pull. The player behind me gets the piranha plant, which is one of the few items that actually could have taken me out there. You know, if there's like a boomerang, a piranha plant, or a bomb. And wait, there's a random red shell. I don't know, even know what it broke on there. But we somehow survive. And then we get fired. Speaking of items that are unlucky for people behind me to pull. And wow, we are just getting comboed. Maybe the luck is evening out. That is good though. We got shocked right into the set. But then I'm going to shroom into that Birdo and the star. They're super wide on their line there for some reason. Is that a dry Bowser? Is that a splat buggy? Ink no, that's an ink striker. But yeah, things are not looking good right now. Let's chain to the set, get the double. We need something amazing. I can't even do the, the shortcut, the str not even the shortcut, the strats there. There probably won't be another shock here. I just wanted to star there because of that bullet bill and because there's so many stars around me. Uh, but we'll see what we can do here. At the very end of this race, we have the triple reds for protection. I have to go a little bit wide for that, and we get bulleted in the air. That is super unlucky. That's basically been the entire race. It's just getting unlucky at every which turn, and we're going to lose 17. Not bad at all, actually. Wow. All right, race number six, back to another bagging track. Typically, I have better luck on these tracks, and I especially should have good luck after that last race getting hit with the worst items, you know, for my position at the worst possible times. Uh, we can go ahead and steal those coins from that player after hitting them. But yeah, hopefully things work out. That's our first loss of the video in five races, which isn't bad. You know, only losing. We are in one race out of five. I'll take those odds all day. I think we're up currently 69 for the video, which isn't too bad. But like I jokingly said in the last uh, race, was the fact that we could potentially, you know, not have a higher gain or rather not uh, have as much gain for the entire hour as we just did after race four. Maybe I should quit while I'm ahead. Knock on one. Hopefully that's not the case here. Um, but you never know, you know, in reality, I could end up basically not gaining any more VR or rather not have that high of a total gain for the episode for the hour. You guys know what I'm talking about. So definitely need to maybe play a little bit more careful. Maybe just not get unlucky. There's really not much I can do in that case though, right? It is Mario Kart after all. There's only so much you can do. And let's go ahead and chain our invincibility here. It looks like the blue shell connected. And I think we just go ahead and start our golden now. I'm not going to be able to chain to the next set, unfortunately. Uh, but it will at least get rid of the blooper. And then I can use my star in the shortcut here. We get the shock dodge right on cue as well. That is perfect. I'm going to see if I can get a good double box here. The player in first has triple shrooms. We only get the single shroom here. I'm going to go ahead and spam this fire flower and hopefully get something good in the pocket. We get another shroom. But yeah, first place is just gone. They did smuggle triple shrooms into first there, uh, but I'll gladly take a second here if I don't get hit, which it looks like I won't. So like I said, you know, the luck has a way of evening out and we get the second for race number six here and we get plus 27. All right, race number seven. We're currently up 96 VR after six races, which is incredible. Definitely a good bounce back after losing VR. Getting the plus 27 for a second. That's what I'm talking about. And we'll see if we can keep it up. This is another track I'm relatively good at. I feel like in general, I've been getting really good tracks for me at least. Not only, you know, tracks that I generally enjoy that I'm good at, but also just tracks that are good for the position I finished in. Like we got Neo Bowser when I came in second, then I came in first, we got Wario Stadium. Then I came in 11th and we get a bagging track. So it kind of all worked out there. This is the track I feel like I want to be in the front on and I actually slow down because that player had the horn, but I guess it worked out because they end up dropping a bomb or rather someone else drops a bomb there and a little bit of a scuff shortcut. That wasn't actually too bad in general, though, as we are keeping up with the front of the pack. There is a little bit of a separation now as well between the rest of the pack and the top three of us here. Let's go ahead and chain at the set, see what we can get. Maybe get another red shell. Okay, we had a boomerang. Interesting. It's actually really good defensive item for my position it is triple protection maybe i'll hold on to this but keep or rather hold on to the boomerang chain the red shell at the set and just get a single box and see what we can get as i'm very happy to be in this position oh we actually get triple mushrooms i had a focus 
mid-sentence to make sure I block that as the red shell is taking a really goofy line. Oh, that's a good banana. Good thing I was a little bit wide on my line there. And I was able to break drift just in time to avoid it. Oh no, that is not good. I was about to use my shroom because I didn't have a great shortcut there. That's also not good because there's so many players that dodged it looks like. Like when I looked at the map there, there was like at least three stars and a bill or two. Um, and things are going to get interesting. There should be a blue shell here too. Like I said, I'm happy in third as it is. Hopefully I can get some more protection at the next set. But as you guys have seen, this lobby's really stacked. Okay, there's the blue shell. Uh, but this lobby's really stacked, so basically... Wow, that hit me. That went so inside. I did not think that was going to get me. Wow, that is really unlucky. Uh, but I keep getting interrupted. Basically, this lobby's so stacked that even getting, you know, a top three spot is more than enough to get a good VR gain. Which is definitely awesome. And that's a bomb. I heard that from like a mile away. They thought they were slick. No, there's actually a second shock. So we'll see what happens here at the end. Can make the shortcut there. I'm going to go wide. I hear that star behind me. It disappeared for a second, but it is back. Are we going to get comboed here at the end? There's a piranha plant. But yeah, actually, hold on to the third. Literally nothing happened, even though all those shocks and blue shells came. I just stayed in third like the entire race there. So definitely can't complain. Like I said, I'll get like a good like plus 20 or something for a lobby like this one. We'll see what we can get. Last couple players are crossing the finish line now. And we get the plus 21. Just like that, we're already back on MC3. But I have no complaints. I actually picked this track. Like I've been saying, I'm playing to my strengths in today's video, doing whatever I can to gain the most VR possible. And that means picking bagging tracks whenever they come up, because I'm generally better at bagging than front running. There are a couple tracks I've practiced and I feel like I'm at least decent at, but in a nutshell, if I have to pick a runner or a bagging track and try to do the best I can, I'm gonna pick a bagging track all day. There really is no question. And we're gonna see how well we can do. We have the shock dodge second place finish last time on this track. Um, and I have a good feeling we will do at least decent once again. There is one Birdo running, which is great. And while there's already a shock, that did not take long at all actually. Uh, but it's a good thing we are back. You know, we can go ahead and get an item right away. We get the gold and let's chain it. Let's get up to 10 coins. We can start catching up. The pack will be really close. Of course, because of the shock. I really don't expect much to happen here on lap two, as there was just the shock. That bird is still pretty far ahead, so we are fine to just keep moving forward. We get the crazy eight, actually. I can hold on to this for a little while. Wait, someone detonated the bomb there? I thought they were going to steal my star. That's actually what I was worried about more than the bomb. Oh, we get the single shroom in seventh. I'm going to wait. Go ahead and use it into the set. What can we get? We get a golden blue shell combo. That is a terrible pull. I think I'm just going to kind of like snake here and swerve and go really wide on purpose so that I can potentially get a better pull. I'm going to go ahead and stop bag here at the next set. Looks like a couple other players are too. We get another golden. And oh no, we're going to get star. That is really unlucky. Everyone else is in a star. I was really wishing I could get the star first and then golden in the pocket. Uh, but what can you do? Okay, that's a good pull. And we get the shock dodge again, just like the last race. I'm going to go super wide so no one can steal my star. And we're going to use our other power items here. We get another shock dodge. We just got two shock dodges in a row. And once again, we're going to cruise all the way up into second place. I am super consistent on this track. I feel like I get second every time I play this track. And we get not one, but two shock dodges and another plus 27. All right, race number nine. We're currently at the halfway point we're at time and we're up 144 vr wow it could really not go any better than this we had one race where we lost vr but other than that we have been doing exceptionally well and i don't know why i held my drift there we got bumped we're gonna fall off the edge but i really cannot lose on mario circuit 3 it seems like as you get not one but two shock dodges there that is incredible uh, but to follow it up we are on probably one of my worst tracks in the game this track is very tough to drive in my opinion i'm just not very good at it and we're going to see if we can get a middle spot. I think that's really the goal for the tracks I'm not very good at. Is just try to get a middle spot. Try to hold my own and try to get some decent gains at least. And we're already going to get red shelled. Which is not good. Even the golden can't outrun the red shell. We have the triple shrooms in the pocket. Yeah, we're in ninth. Not a great spot to be in. Especially only with three coins. And I don't think I mentioned this yet. But there is a... I think it's a 79k... VR player in the room now, which is pretty incredible. That should definitely help with our gains. I'm going super wide there for no particular reason. I guess I'm looking just to get bailed out by the power items here, as I am 
pretty far behind. I'm pretty bad at strike. We have another golden. Okay, at least we get the crazy eight in the pocket. We should be able to chain this up the next set. But yeah, we are so far behind already. This, this is not good at all. Let's go ahead and spam it. What can we get at the next set? We need the shock or something. Get another golden. I'm just getting cursed with goldens this race, no matter what. And there is one Daisy and a Yoshi really far ahead. There should be a shock, right? How has there not been a shock? Okay, there's a blue shell. I cannot believe there has not been a shock yet with how far back we are. And this is not looking good. This is definitely a hard track to catch up on. And there's the shock. Of course, we don't dodge it in last. Who even pulled the shock? There wasn't anyone like immediately in front of me, which is kind of strange. And we had another golden. Yeah, this track is just destined to have me place in a bad spot as I pulled like a million golden mushrooms. We couldn't pull the shock. We couldn't dodge the shock. And we're going to need something like really good here at the end. We get this star. I don't think that is going to be enough because literally everyone else has good items and we'll take the shortcuts too. And yeah, we're going to finish in 10th place. What a miserable race, but not unexpected. And only the minus 12. Wow. All right, race number 10. We lost VR in the last race. Only 12 though for, I believe, a 10th place. Really not too bad for another tough track. So we'll see how I can do here on TikTok clock. And I think I'm like decent at this track. Definitely not one of my better tracks though. That is for sure. But yeah, Music Park is one of the harder tracks in the game, in my opinion. I am terrible at it, as you guys can see. And really nothing went in my favor all that much. Pulled way too many golden mushrooms. Did not pull a shock and did not get a shock dodge. So, you know, a bottom spot is bound to happen when that is the case. Up to nine coins though. I think we're currently up 132 for the video, which is pretty good. Definitely, you know, cannot complain. Oh no, I missed the trick there. I don't know what I was thinking. Trying to hop. Wait, we went to snipe that player. They already got hit by the other player though. So we're up in second. Wait, is that Daisy like a lap behind? Oh no, wait, they didn't get hit. They're actually in first. It's the Japanese leg tricking me once again. I feel like that happens a lot in these rooms where I assume something because of, you know, what I see happen in front of me just for it to be completely not the case. So we'll see what we can do. Like I said, uh, in the DK mountain race, I am very happy just chilling in a top spot and hoping for the best. And that is definitely not the best. There's a boo that dodged. We're instantly getting past. And yeah, I think you can see them now. They're another black Yoshi, it looks like. There's another Yoshi here. And there are, you know, a little bit more character variety. There's like a Cat Peach, a Peachette, and a Dry Bowser, as well as a Birdo and a Daisy on like the first couple of races, where there's like a million Yoshis plus myself. This is more normal. And there's a second shock. And we also don't dodge that one. I mean, how could I being in like fifth place this time with triple greens? I'm actually going to wait for the double box there and we're just gonna go ahead and super horn i don't know why just in case i guess we didn't even hit them there in a star anyways but they did have triple greens there uh you know i'm gonna hope for the best i'm gonna miss the trick though but the idea there was to chain up the double but i actually hit myself with the fire flower and then we get lag trailed by triple red shells in a boo there's a crazy eight bomb we're getting another bottom so oh, that is all of a sudden just completely went downhill we we're like in fifth place and then we we're in ninth and that's where we're gonna finish and a minus seven. Right, race number 11, another bagging track. We're currently up 125 now. We have lost a little bit here and there the last couple of races. We're still up 125 after 10 races. That is definitely no joke. And I feel like, I don't know what it is, but all the Mario bagging tracks, I'm just really bad at compared to the other ones. Uh, the exception is DS Mario Circuit, but GBA Mario Circuit, this one, um, Mario Kart Stadium and Mario Circuit from Mario Kart 8, I just cannot do well on consistently. I feel like those tracks are more luck based, if you will, than a lot of the other bag tracks as I miss the item set. But I feel like no matter what happens, I always get consistently like middle spots, whereas at least on the other ones, like on Mario, Mario Circuit 3, I guess that's another Mario track that I'm better at. I normally can at least consistently do well. And that's, I feel like bagging tracks for the most part, I can say that. But yeah, these couple Mario tracks, I am just not very good at for whatever reason. Uh, I feel like this one might just be a little bit more luck based. Maybe it's the opposite. Maybe I'm just bad at this track and it's actually more skill based. I actually have never taken that glider path on the right and maybe I should learn how to do that. There's also a good Trueless cut, which if anything, that would make this more of a good running track rather than trying to bag on it. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and use our star. Can we get a dodge here? I don't know if we can. We're actually in a weird spot. We're like in eighth place right now. And I'm going to fail the Shroomless Cut. There's actually quite a few Shroomless Cuts. We're going to get bumped by the Dry Bowser in the off-road. And we only pulled a single Shroom. There's a Bullet Bill Parade 
and I'm going to have to wait and go wide. And yeah, this is a terrible spot unless we get a shock dodge. No, we don't pull anything. I feel like that's really common where I just pull like literally nothing but mushrooms at the end. And then, of course, there is a shock and we can't dodge it. But we pass one person and finish an eighth and we get the minus two. Race number 12 and we are back on Music Park. I mean, we had a repeat earlier with MC3. It's only natural we get a repeat of another track in the opposite direction. You know, earlier is a track I was good at. And now it's a track I'm bad at, although I just got bumped way off my line there. We have also lost VR like three races in a row. It's only been 21 in total. We're currently sitting at 123 up for the video, which honestly isn't too bad, all things considered. Uh, but we're going to see how we can do on this next race. As we did terrible last time, I had really bad item luck too, but I just, you know, I'm not very good at this track in general. So I need all the item luck I can get. Wait, that person, I thought they're going for the double, so I went for the single there. They also went for the single box. That's some fire. Gotta watch out for that. Go ahead and take the shortcut here. Gotta watch out for the fire. But yeah, we're in a decent spot. I feel like this is a track that a lot of people can definitely get a big lead on if they are good at the track. Especially in a worldwide. As you can see, most of the players are kind of congested in the back right now. And there's a couple players starting to break away. And I do want to point out that last race on Mario Circuit. That's the most typical Mario Circuit race where I pull four shrooms on the last set. Which I feel like happens literally every time. And then there's a shock at the end, so I probably wouldn't have gotten a top spot, but would have at least gained a couple spots if I were to dodge. And that is an unfortunate shock for me. I'm going to hopefully not get build. Okay, we do get build there. But we're still in six. Yeah, there's still a couple players at the back of the pack. I have, like, no coins. So what I'm going to do here is just go wide for these coins and try to get them. That blue almost hit me. We can evade it, though. Let's also use this golden to try to catch up. But yeah, we're not in a great spot. There probably won't be another shock. That player actually has the build. Do we want to hold this boo for a while, actually? I think I do, because there won't be another shock for a while, likely. And unless, you know, there's like an item coming for me, I really have no reason to use this. There can only be one boo at a time, I believe. And of course, no one can take it. Okay, let's use it now. This should last pretty much for like the end of the race. We steal the super horn. We're going to go ahead and chain the horn into the set. We get the shock dodge. That is perfect. Just what I was looking for. And we get an amazing pull in the pocket. I'm going to hit the wall though and hop all over the place. I'm going to star that player, but I didn't hit them. I'm actually going to lose spots for that and finish in seventh. Wow, what a crazy ending. And the plus three. Race number 13. We're currently up 126 VR after I fumbled last race. I think I went from seventh place, got the dodge, went up to like third or fourth, and then ended up finishing in seventh. I basically didn't make any progress there. I think I panicked and just spam my shrooms trying to get my stare out just in case there's like an item or something so I can take the shortcut. Uh, but it just did not work out there. I think realistically though I probably only would have gotten like fourth or fifth at the very best anyways. Uh, but still it was a positive gain which is good. And we are currently like I said at plus 126 for the race or for the video rather. Which is kind of funny we've actually been kind of stagnant. We, we're up at 144 gain after race number eight it looks like and we're currently on race 13 sitting at 126 so did we peak already that is the question as we've started to lose vr a little bit more consistently unfortunately or at least not gain very much in the meantime and we're going to try our best here to catch up to the front of the pack we can use all of our red shells there we can eat the blooper can pass that player Fortunately, I go a little bit too fast to get the item boxes up top. That's the blue shell. Let's make sure to stay super inside so we don't get hit. And second just got like red or something. That's a super horn. First is going to get blued. And just like that, we're in first with double shrooms. Um, I think the play is just to use these though. This is just star right on my tail. And then we can hopefully get a little bit of a breakaway as there just was a blue shell. So there's not going to be... Wow, that banana was perfectly hidden. Good thing I went wide for the fire there. That is crazy as we could have gotten, gotten taken out there. This player's actually going to pass me, potentially, with this shroom. Let's go ahead and see if we can get a couple second place boxes here. No, wait, we passed them back, actually, but then they passed me again. My line's so bad. Um, but I'm not even going to try anything. I don't think I could even pass them here unless they get, like, a crazy banana snipe. So I'll gladly take a second place. A great recovery after having a couple, you know, mediocre races, like losing or gaining less than 10 each race. And we get the plus 27. And we're back with another good track for me, Mushroom Gorge this time. And we're actually at our peak. I was just talking about how we might have peaked 
at 144 after race 8, but we're actually, after 13 races, up 153 now, which is just incredible. It was definitely looking pretty grim there, but we have a nice second place. And now, I've gotten so many second place finishes, I think only one first. Uh, but like I said earlier, I basically just need like a top 3 spot to really get a lot of VR. So I'm not complaining when I get second place. Like I said, this is what definitely one of my better tracks. We're going to see if I can live up to that in this race. There's been a ton of shocks. I think it's just because of how many players are bagging in this room. And I'm going to go ahead and go off the track. I didn't even super bounce there. I thought if I super bounced, I would go off for sure. But I guess it didn't even matter that I did. And I am just flying all over the place too. Good thing it's early and I have lots of time to catch up here. But I do expect there to be at least one shock. Like I said, there's been like multiple shocks. I think on that Mario Circuit 3 race where I dodged two shocks, there's like three shocks in total, which is kind of unheard of, especially now, post wave six, where they basically nerfed a bagging. It's way less common for you to see that many shocks. And oh no, I have another star. I think I'm gonna go ahead and chain the shroom here at the set and see what I can get. Probably another shroom, right? Yeah, we do. So I can go ahead and take the gap cut. You can do that with just a star and no mushroom. Uh, it is a little bit more difficult and I typically don't like to go for it unless I absolutely have to. And the pack is really close. We get this single shroom, unfortunately. We could still get another good pull here. We can go ahead and just be safe and get the double there after there's a bomb that went out. And okay, we get the shrooms, but we have the greens in the pocket and we are in eighth place. So unless we get past, I'm not gonna get another good pull. But also, like I said, I don't really wanna risk it here. And I could potentially just get a worse item if I do. And we're gonna go for it. We get the fence cut, but I clip it. But we still get the fifth. That was looking bad. I almost failed it. And we get the plus nine. Race number 15, Sydney Sprint. After getting a plus nine last race, we're currently sitting at plus 162 for the video, which is our highest yet. We only have like maybe another race or two after this race as well, as time is running out. Less than 10 minutes left for the hour. It's gonna come close. I'm really hoping that I can get like one final race when it comes down to it instead of being cut off as that video or that race will of course not count for the video. And you guys probably saw how close that last race really was as I hit the top of the fence. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Where I almost got stuck on the fence, almost didn't make it, but I like clipped it, lost all my speed and barely made it over. And I will definitely take that. I think I would have probably gotten a better spot if we end up not getting hit by the fence. And while I was trying to avoid the bomb that second place had there, and then first place also had a bomb, but really nothing I can do there. But yeah, I probably could have gotten a better spot if I didn't clip the fence, maybe third or fourth. But you know, what I got fifth in the plus nine is definitely not bad at all. I'll just get rid of those green shells. I have to smart bounce myself. We get more green shells already. That's fire. That might be coming backwards. We can go ahead and snipe that green coming forward. There's a red coming for him. We can block that. There's a early shock and a blue shell out already. So this race is going to be close as first really doesn't have much of a lead anymore. We get another identical pull. We get another green shell piranha plant pull. And I'm just going to let that player pass me. I guess I can't really with the piranha plant. We're kind of in an awkward spot. As I didn't really see they had triple reds until I got rid of all my green shells. I mean, these players are actually bagging, interestingly enough. I think that's not really that common, but I have seen it before on this track. I'll go ahead and slow down myself just to try to get some more coins here. And we'll see. Is there anyone around me to take my box? I need to be more careful. Like, it's really easy to, you know, slow down to chain a double just for someone to swoop in and take it. Especially with the online lag in this game, it is super easy for that to happen. And I'm just not going to mess around by getting lag trailed. We're just going to take the safe route. We get the third piranha plant of the race. That is actually crazy. And we're going to get red shelled again with the piranha. That is super unlucky. We can at least eat the blooper. That's fire. Those are red shells. There's everything coming every which way. We need something good. That is amazing. Is there going to be a late shock here? Could that be the case? There was one earlier, but it looks like that will not be the case. I'm just going to play it safe there and we get the fifth. So another fifth place, not a bad race and another plus 10. Race number 16. This very well could be the last race. I'm looking at the clock right now. We have less than four minutes until the hour is up. So it's going to be close here. Guess we'll see what happens. Currently sitting at plus 172, our highest of the video. You know, we've definitely faced some adversity so far in today's video. I was kind of doubting myself to see if I could really gain that much more. But since then, you know, we went up to 144. We dipped all the way down to 123. And now we're back up to 172. 
and we're on Merry Mountain, not one of my favorites, as you guys know, if you've ever seen any of my videos, any of my streams, you know how much I hate this track. It's just simply boring. It's definitely one of those tracks, like I feel like a lot of the tour tracks just don't really work well in this game as they are pretty boring, pretty straightforward. This is no exception. This is definitely a track I do generally well on, I feel like, recently, as I think the play is just to simply try to get shrooms and take the shortcuts. Uh, but I guess that will not happen when you get leg trailed in a Japanese room, even though you're way ahead of the person with the triple bananas. Uh, but I digress. We're going to chain. We're going to get the doubles. We're going to go for some coins and see what we can do. And we get the single shroom super horn combo. Go ahead and burn that. We can go ahead and combo the birdo. And you know, I'm just going to take it easy here. Get the double box that is weirdly placed up there. Yeah, we get some more shrooms. This is what I was hoping for, actually, is I can maybe save these for the shortcuts. When I was going to get that coin, it just despawned right in front of me. And we got to watch out for the red shell ahead of me, but we're not in a terrible spot, all things considered. I'll just, you know, give them some space here. Watch out for it. Try to get another coin or two along the way. They're going to hold it, and that is super unlucky. There's the shock. We're in a great spot with our shrooms. We could still be in a good spot. I feel like a couple players might have dodged and will pass me here. And then maybe we can get a good item pull at the set. That player is going to chain their star into the set, it looks like. What can we get? Oh, we get this room. I spammed it by accident. If you guys didn't know, you can press your item button there and get your item a little bit faster. But I sometimes do that and just accidentally get rid of my item. We get spin boosted right into that banana perfectly. That is super unlucky. And that player runs into me and steals my box as well. Wow, just everything is going downhill. We have this one red shell, though. We can take out one player. But yeah, it is not looking good as we are in 8th. Can we keep it at least? We do. But that was all downhill in that lap 3 and the minus 5. That's going to do it. We ended up getting 16 races in in 1 hour. That's pretty average from what I've experienced playing this game. For videos on stream, either 15 or 16 is pretty typical. So not really too surprising. We end up with a loss, but only minus 5. So we end with plus 167 for an hour. Of course, feel free to try this at home. Let me know how much VR you can gain in one hour of playing. I feel like 167 is very respectable. I feel like I've gained maybe up to 200 before recording for videos, but 167 is definitely more than my average, which is normally about, you know, 80 or 100 VR. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.